This content is being produced by the podcast Bourbon Real Talk. The usual show format is to do a live review of a whiskey with a guest who tells their personal story. The purpose is to expose the world to the lives of people they may not have otherwise come in contact with. The goal is to reduce division and form new connections. Occasionally, we produce content that is meant to be educational like this program. For more information about Bourbon Real Talk, you can go to our website at bourbonrealtalk.com where you can sign up for our email list or we can be found on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Play, and iTunes by searching Bourbon Real Talk. Enjoy. Hello, everybody out there at Bourbon Real Talk. Coming to you live, actually not live, from the Whiskey Cave. We're going to do a real quick uh, review. Uh, I'm going to start a new series called Drink This, Not That. Uh, the purpose is, I know there's a lot of avid whiskey drinkers out there that are used to drinking, you know, what you find in your local bar. You're used to drinking Jack, you're used to drinking Jim, you're used to drinking, you know, Jameson, whatever it is. And you might be getting a little bit whiskey curious and you want to know what else is out there that you could explore. And so just want to give you some ideas, maybe some upline products and things like that. So we're here today with uh, Patrick Haley, also Whiskey Club member, uh, not super active. I'm working on it. Yeah, not super. <laughs> he's but he's busy at work. So what we're trying today is Jack Daniels. You can see I got my handy dandy Jack Daniels barrel here. I feel like have you all seen that meme where you, he slaps the top of the car, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like you could fit a lot of whiskey in this bad boy. Um, and so we're gonna we're gonna try some Jack Daniels products now. Um, I happen to not be in possession at this current moment of a regular Jack Daniels black label. Uh, Patrick and I have both been to the distillery. In fact, Patrick just got back and he brought us the single barrel. Um, Black, Jan or Black, uh, Black Label Jack Daniels is actually super high quality whiskey. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, it is, you know, aged typically four to seven years. It's a little bit uh, lighter, I would say, than, you know, some of those super premium whiskeys that we're, a lot of the whiskey nerds drink. But if you're used to drinking it, I'm sure you love it. Uh, also, there's uh, the fact that, you know, a lot of people like to mix it and drink it with other things. So if that's you, that's awesome. Drink what you like. Also, like to kind of expand your horizon a little bit and get you to maybe try some new things. So I've got something kind of special to show you guys today. This is a Jack Daniels Black Label um, right here, if you can check that out. However, um, this is an extremely old bottle. Um, this bottle is oxidized. <laughs> it's, it's probably not good anymore. Um, I'm not exactly sure what year it is. Um, it's got a tack strip on it, but um, no, it's a, it's a real tack strip. So it's got to be from at least the early 80s, maybe older. Uh, it was found in my grandfather's closet when he passed away. He wasn't a big drinker, um, if you want to pour yourself. Um, he, he wasn't a big drinker, and uh, so he's had this whiskey for years and years, and being the whiskey drinker in the family, they gave it to me. Um, this next one is part of their Master Distiller series. Um, so this one was actually Jack Daniels at one point was the Master Distiller. So they have a series of, of whiskeys that they will, um, that are, there's been seven Master Distillers of Jack Daniels? Or is it eight? I can't remember. You were just there. Remember, yeah. It's I not very remember. many. For as, for as long as the company's been in business, it's not that long. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Arnett, the current uh, master distiller at Jack Daniels, uh, you know, titan in the whiskey world. Um, and there is a Jack Daniels uh, special release with each of the master distillers on the, uh, the, the box that comes in. And uh, so I'll, I'll give you an up close, close view of, you, of that. That's the Jack Daniels uh, Master Distiller Series. Sorry, everything is backwards because we're filming with face camera. Sorry about that. Um, just so you know, if you film with the front camera, everything's normal. If you film with the face camera, everything's backwards like a mirror. Um, this is a Jack Daniels single barrel um, that was picked up at the gift shop. Yep. And so that's kind of what that looks like. You can sometimes find these in local stores. Sometimes clubs will do a store pick of these. Yeah, they had a couple of those on display there. I think Ducks Unlimited did one. Oh, wow. They, were, they put them out there for people to, to purchase. Yeah, so if you are interested in barrel programs, uh, Jack Daniels is a high yield barrel because it's not um, higher aged. 
Um, so you lose whiskey in the barrel uh, over time with uh, to angel share. And so um, when you do a Jack Daniels single barrel, usually there's a lot of bottles of it because it wasn't aged long enough for it to evaporate. And uh, so it's hard sometimes for a club or a store to sell that many barrels. So usually larger stores will do this type of Jack Daniels. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's smell it and taste it up. So this, this first one is Jack Daniels Black Label, but this is from probably the late 70s, early 80s. And um, it's got that dusty funk yep. uh, on it. Uh, what, what some people call machine oil, um, petrol, graphite. Um, leather a little, a little bit of leather yeah you know how if you go into like a leather shop like I went to this boot shop and they had all this leather hanging all over and you could pick which leather you wanted your boots made out of I'm an astringent uh, smell to it it's like a stringent kind of flavor I think you have to talk louder if you want the people to hear you yeah so, I mean, just, this is an oxidized whiskey. Um, a lot of people get off on, you know, that oxidized flavor. I can definitely appreciate it. It's not my ideal profile, no. but I'm not mad at it. So moving on to the Jack Daniels Master Distiller Series. Uh, this is proved at uh, 86 proof. Now, one thing that I will point out to you in Jack Daniels, there's a uh, chemical compound. I'm about to do a educational piece, a shorter one like this one, on a chemical compound. It's an ester called isoamyl acetate. And it actually is the compound that makes bananas taste like bananas. And it's also found in pears. So um, I'm, I'm talking with some of the head distillers that I know and they're giving me information, I'm looking things up online, and what I'm finding is that there's certain yeast strains that when used in the fermentation process will increase the amount of this particular ester that tastes like bananas. Um, also, I'm hearing that uh, potentially a slightly higher temperature during fermentation can create more of this. Um, this is something that will evaporate out of a barrel with aging, so sometimes younger whiskeys have more isoamyl acetate in it and it tastes like bananas. So if you're used to watching my live reviews and some of the whiskey clubs, you know that I have a reputation for detecting bananas. Uh, this actually does have, Jack Daniels is known to have a lot of banana component to it. 100%. It was very hot in the, uh, in the fermentation room. While I was <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a lot of the distilleries don't distill during the summer months because uh, the difficulty in controlling the temperature of their water that they put in. Um, and they, they'll shut down on the do maintenance on the equipment and things like that. So uh, moving on to the third whiskey. This one is the Jack Daniels single barrel. Um, this one is proofed at 128.6. It is a barrel proof whiskey. And uh, on the nose, it's interesting. I'm not getting a lot of acetone or, you know, like heat, you know, type flavor or uh, feel on it. It's It doesn't have much of a burn, which is, Pretty amazing for a whiskey that's near 130 proof. Now, um, a lot of times, uh, Dickel, which is also a Tennessee whiskey and Jack Daniels, will sometimes have a, a nutty kind of flavor to it. And that nuttiness um, will sometimes combine with the banana and give you kind of a banana nut muffin flavor to it in the higher proof cash strength uh, versions of the Jack Daniels. Uh, this one has a little bit of it, but not, it's, I, I've had some um, Houston Bourbon Society, fat shout out to those guys, love those guys. They do a lot of awesome picks. I had one of their uh, Jack Daniels single barrel select picks and it tasted like a banana nut muffin. So that's what I was going for. This one doesn't quite have it but that is okay. Still very tasty whiskey. Definitely some banana, a little bit of nuttiness, not quite over the top nuttiness like you get out of a dickel, but it's still in there. So overall, uh, very interesting. So if you are a whiskey person out there and you're used to drinking Jack Daniels and you are getting a little bit whiskey curious and you like to try some other things, 
I would suggest that you check out some of their premium products. And if you see a store that has one of these square bottles in it, um, and you want to try something that's a little bit more new, unique, a little bit higher proof, go ahead and pick one of these up and try it out. And if you are so inclined, you could definitely throw some comments into whatever platform you're watching or listening to this on and let me know what you thought. So Patrick, do you have anything to add before we- the bottle? Yeah. Did we get up there close? We did get up all close. Right. It's all Making backwards, sure. but we showed it to him. Right. <laughs> so uh, anyway, guys, as always, uh, from Bourbon Real Talk to you, we love you. And if you have any questions, let us know. Talk to you soon.